everyone, it's Sam here and I'm back with another scraps video. So I'm going to show you five cards using the scraps from this paper pad here. This was Secret Garden by Dovecraft. I've had this now for a few years and uh, the paper pad's pretty much gone. But these scraps just seem to never go down. I've already featured these a lot in my scraps video and there's still loads there. And I've already prepared the five cards. So this is actually still what I have left. So nice and easy. You don't really need any specialty kind of dies with these. You can draw around things to get similar shapes. And most of it's just cut using my trimmer or you can just use your ruler. So let's get started. So first of all, we're going to make a fun pattern. So what I've done is I've cut myself 13 squares that are one and one eighth of an inch squared. That's in the mirrored card. Then in the pattern, they're one inch squared. And then I've just used my corner punch from my envelope punch board. This is optional, but it does give you a really cool effect, but you can still do it without. And then I've just rounded off the corners on two opposite points. So you have this cool shape here. I've then stuck them on top of the other piece. So you've got your mat and layer. So I'll just take the backing off of this one here. I think this would work really well with circles as well and more of a diamond shape. So just like a thinner diamond without it rounded. I think that would look really cool as well. Okay. And then I've got all these pieces here and I've just put some foam on the back. I've got myself a six by six card blank, which is cut from a piece of 12 by six scored at six inches along that long side. And then I've popped a piece of five and three quarters squared. So what I'm gonna do is just lay down the pattern first and then I can decide where I want my sentiment to go. So I've got these ones are gonna run down through the middle. So I think is it, let's see how I did this one. You're kind of creating a little flower because I might put a embellishment in the center and then you're going to have another flower like appearing here I might use that one so you see you've got like a flower there one there and then yeah I'm going to have three obviously if you've got a longer card or a taller card then you could do more but then I wanted to show if I bring that down actually so I've got a more of an equal frame there we go that looks good and then I think I'll have my sentiment in this top right hand corner so look how cool that looks just by you know playing around with the pieces now if you want to do something similar to me then you'll see I've got six in this kind of floral print and then four in this more solid um, lilac colour there so just think about, you know, what it is you want to use and you'll know what ones to cut out. But then if I was to add, so say this one, I haven't put it on any foam yet, but if I popped that one in there, look how it starts to change it. And I think you can start to create some quite good, maybe more masculine shapes with this. I haven't got a purple one, but if I was to just put that one in there, you see how differently that changes. That almost looks like a perfume bottle. You could put a little ribbon through there now. I think that looks quite quite sweet actually. Um, so you probably will start to find different kind of looks will start to appear. But I'm going to remove that one and that one because I really like that image there. And then what I might do is do another flower inside the card. Because if I just punch that one the same, then I've got another flower. So I could always do that Yeah, inside so it's not wasted. So kind of once you've placed where you want your you know design to go then you can play around with your sentiments so i think i'm going to stamp high on this one yeah i think i'm going to have high and then i'm going to have like a couple of embellishments or something down this side now I've, i think i'm i've said this before when i've used these scraps this pale fig color by um spectrum noir goes really well so I'm going to take that off and then I'm just going to stamp this a few times just to get quite a nice dark colour there. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So I'm going to place these back down again. I've probably got about a half an inch 
border around the top corner and then again down in this bottom yeah bottom right so that's they're going to come i mean you could have them with a gap all the way around as well see how nice they look there when they've got that gap but i think if i focus on this one in the middle getting it kind of in the middle of the card and then the other ones there we go yeah i'm really pleased with that and then i'm going to find some nice little embellishments to go in the middle so start off with this one okay so i've stuck the embellishments in the middle i think it looks lovely i love all the shine there i kind of like the white space but i'll just place some here just to see what it looks like and then i can always remove them well you can see what it looks like i personally prefer it without so i'm going to pop mine back but you can see there how that looks and then i've just added those four on the inside there and i realized i told you the wrong measurement for the mirror it's one by one for the pattern paper and then one and one eighth when i done one and a quarter i found that it was too thick and it originally i was going to have four and it didn't all fit so i dropped it down and then i actually preferred three but you can do this any size you want so if you want to have a bigger border then you can do the one and a quarter um squared for the the mirrored pieces there but that's card number one i think it looks really nice clean and simple change you know the colors change the orientation and add others and you can create some really fun shapes with that one so for card number two i've made these flowers just using circles and then they kind of look like pansies i thought that was quite cool so i've used punches for these but you could draw around the bottom of your glue bottles anything circular you use your circle dies but the punches were just quick and easy so i've got a one and a half inch punch and a one and a quarter so i punched nine in each size so i've got um nine here in the smaller size and then nine in the large you could have one flower i'm going to draw the stem in here single flower with a nice sentiment you could have your card as a landscape orientation this is a five by seven and i kind of like it that way but i think i'm going to have them like kind of this and then the three stems and then i'm going to have a sentiment there so i'm just playing around with the the order that i want to have these so yeah i think like that so i'm just gonna stack them all up on top of each other and then just take a a hole punch and the, i'm using the big bite here because it can punch through all of them if you can't punch through all at the same time, just punch through a couple and then lay one over the top of the next lot and then punch again until you've done them all. So you kind of got like a little um, like a name tag look or a little key ring there. Then I've got a little brad. So I'm just going to pop that through there and then open it up. And then I'm just going to start to fan out the flowers. So you see a little bit of each design and then you finish with the solid one. And I think it's that solid one over the top that gives you that kind of pansy look and then just keep them pinched together and then using some glue just lift one up pop some glue in there and just squeeze that down and just work your way along until they're all attached okay and then i'm just going to pop a foam pad right over the back there that's just going to secure the brad in place and just give it some dimension as well so now i can just kind of play around kind of like that one overlapping a little bit and then maybe that one like so okay so i've just drawn my stems and i'm going to place these down maybe have that one that way And then maybe bring that one down a bit lower or up higher. And we'll have it higher because the leaves have got to go in. And then I'm just going to start sticking these down. So that's card number two finished. I really like this one. I think it's really different and just a fun way to play around with your circles there. And it's definitely one I'm going to revisit because I've got another idea for this one. So for card number three, I've got a five by seven card bank. This is going to be a landscape orientation. And I've just cut all different mats and layers. So I've worked it around the scraps. So some of the sizes are a little bit odd. Um, what I'll do is I'll round them up. So I've done this at five and seven eighths. But if you do six and then do 
the next piece would be five and seven eighths because I've only done a one eighth of an inch border on all these so I liked the thinner frame. So yeah, so do six by one and three eighths and then five and seven eighths by one and a quarter. So we've got that one. And then again, the size of these can be whatever you want, to be honest. So this is, I'd do five by three and then do four and seven eighths by two and seven eighths for that one. Um, the orientations are slightly different, but I'm going to cover the words. I'm not too worried. It's just more about layering, really. This one here is one and five eighths by two and seven eighths and then one and a half by two and three quarters. And then this one is five eighths of an inch by four and five eighths and then half an inch by four and a half. I've then got this thank you sentiment here and that's using the ultimate ribbon sentiments by um, Creative Craft Products. So I've used the dies for this one. So it's this, these two here. So I've just die cut the background with the mirror card and then the white in the, the word thank you. And then this one, I've just used some dies and punches just to create a little, little topper there. And I've just popped some foam on the back of it. So I'm just going to play around. Yeah, something like that. You could do this, do this however you want. But I just, yeah, I think that was actually different to what I did. But I kind of like that one. So I'm going to... Just take those off and I'm going to pop this all up on foam. So I'm changing it up slightly just so you really see the sentiment. And the idea is that you see all of the sides of all the pieces. So even right down here, you can see all of the green here and then this strip, this strip, and then this piece over the top and then the disc. I like the, the contrast of shape. I've gone with all like rectangles and then you've got the circle. And yeah, I kind of like it there. Yeah, I really like that one. So there you go, very quick and easy. I really have worked around the sizes of the scraps that I had for this one. Just to give you another idea, you know, you might have just these last pieces left. Then that's the kind of, you know, an idea of a card that you can create. So that's card number three. So card number four, I've got a six by six card blank. This piece is five and three quarters squared. And I'm going to cut an aperture into this one. So what size did I use to cut that one? I think it was this one. No, it's the next size. So I'm going to cut a three and three quarter diameter circle right in the center of this piece of five and three quarters squared. So I'm just going to run that through my machine. So that's that cut. And then to get the frame, I just cut this die here and that original one in the middle. And that's given me this frame. And then using the scraps, I haven't actually prepared them for this one because my idea is, is to just rip pieces up. Um, what I want to do is stick that one down I'm going to have acetate over the top and then I'm going to kind of do like a, it's not even patchwork, I'm just literally going to rip pieces up. So I'm trying to use all the same pieces that I've used throughout the other cards. So before I start building up the design, I'm just going to add some glue all over this and then sit that one over the top. And then this piece of acetate is five by five. I'm just going to make sure. Yeah, my tape's going to be hidden. So I'm just going to run some double-sided tape around the sides. Don't worry too much how this looks. You're not going to seal this and we're going to be attaching the whole piece onto the six by six card plank. So I'm going to stick that over the circle. So if you need to clean your acetate, just spray it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and some kitchen towel and that will bring it up nice. I did do mine before, but it's probably picked up a few bits. 
So I think this is going to be the easiest way to do this is just hold it in your hand and just start sticking things behind until you've created a large enough piece to cover there. But I want to make sure that you see all the ripped paper because that's what gives it this, I think, quite very different look. So I've stuck all those together just to make a piece that's big enough to cover this circle. And I'm just popping some double-sided tape on oh, just the corners there. And then I'm just going to place this just so it tacks on some of that, just to get it in to where it needs to be, like so. And then I'm going to use foam tape now to get that all completely secure and that's now going to lift everything up on the card so that's how it now looks I'm just trying to decide which way up I want it and then I'm going to stick that now onto the card blank so you've got a nice frame like so and then I've got my sentiment which is the same set again but this time I've used the stamp of the thank you with the outline die there and I've just stamped it using the same colour that I did before. So I'm just going to pop some foam and I'm going to pop that right through the centre. And now what you could do, which would look quite nice, is you could use these same flat back pearls and pop them in the middle there. There you go. I still think it looks really pretty, but just a really good way to show you how to use the smallest of scraps, the bits that you might have just ripped up and thrown away. I think that gives it a completely new life and looks really effective, especially with the acetate over the top there. So that's card number four. So for the last card, number five, I've got a six by six card blank again, and I'm just going to cut away um the middle so I'm going to have it as a side fold so it'd probably be best if I mark this with a pencil first so I'm just going to so I've got the fold here one of the open ends I'm just going to mark down one inch from the top and one inch from the bottom and again on the fold here so one and one and then just join those markers up and now we're going to remove all of this bit and just keep these pieces so just rub out any pencil marks you might still see I've then got all these strips different widths but they're between a quarter of an inch and half an inch and I'm going to open this up flip them over this is going to be this will end up being the front of the card and I'm just going to what I might do is just lay my pattern down this way up first of all just so I can see how it's going to look I want a little bit of a gap probably about one eighth of an inch maybe let's do that one at the end so I don't need that one we'll leave that one for a minute okay so some of those I'm going to trim but now the key here is to keep it as straight as possible so with the first one I'm just going to trim a little bit off the edge there pop a bit of glue at the top and the bottom flip it over and get this one placed down so about one eighth of an inch gap there from that fold there again just trim a little bit off a bit of glue each end and then just try and keep that same gap. To be honest, you could change the gap. I think that would still look nice as well. There's, you know, no kind of right or wrong with any of these cards. It's just inspiration more than anything. Okay, so I did end, I've ended up bringing in that last one and just got it flushed with the end there. Now, when I flip it over, you've got kind of like a barcode effect. So you could have this as a top fold if you want, but I now want to add acetate behind this to just 
bring back in that strength. So I've cut this piece, which is five by the width of the card, although that's crooked, so I'll trim that in a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna run some tape along here. And here, we're gonna be covering all this up in a moment. Make sure it's all secure and the card's able to close. But now that will just bring back in the strength. You can see the shine there coming through and we're gonna have a sentiment running right through the middle here. So now I'm gonna add some mats and layers, I think, to the top here. So to cover that back there, you want a piece, two pieces of one by six. You might have to shave a little bit off so it doesn't catch when you fold it. And then I'll tell you the sizes of the mats and layers and then I'll get that sentiment down. So I've just embossed the side panels and then I'm going to place it this way. I actually like it as a top fold. So I've just put some foam on there. There we go. If you can see all that dimension. It's nice when the shine catches the acetate there. And then I guess we should add some of those pearls. I think this just adds a nice little extra. You could do three up there as well, I guess. But there we go. I think that looks really sweet. So those are the five cards that I've made using one lot of scraps. So we just go back through them again. So you've got this wonderful design here. Really clean and simple. Just a really clever way, you know, to show off those pieces and create, you know, quite a fun pattern. Then you've got this one. Very different, but just again, creative way. Just using some circles to create a fun card. And these styles always work well on a card that's designed to be displayed open. You, you wanna decorate the front, but you don't want it to be too over the top because no one's gonna really see it apart from when they take it out of the envelope. These kind of designs, you know, work well and they use the scraps from that project. Things like this I love, just these simple panels, just with them, you know, just think it shows the, the pattern paper off really nicely. And I think when you start to add in mirrored card, vellum, acetate, things like that, it really does make the cards quite special. This one I love. I think this might be my favourite. I think it's so different. And I think it's great for masculine makes as well. Just those torn edges and stuff. I think it looks quite cool. And then the one that I've just done. And when it catches the light and you see the acetate coming through there, I mean, that could be mirrored card. Just a, you know, a whole sheet of mirrored card behind that. It doesn't have to be the acetate. But there you have it. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial showing you how to make five cards using your scraps check out the other tutorials there'll be some playlists popping up now videos of my other scraps tutorials so if you've just joined my channel maybe you've just found this video if you check on them you'll see loads more along with all of my other tutorials i have a real mixed bag on the channel so hopefully there'll be something for everyone and if you've enjoyed today and you're not subscribed just click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and then you'll be notified every time i upload something new thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon bye